use the navigation that the sextante that the old uh, navigation that they use. Yeah, yeah. But also during the dive, we can also check it out the sand strip in the in the in the bottom. So oh. the, the sand strip. Oh yeah, Wait, lines, like where the waves. When right the waves when it looks pass wavy, by, exactly. Is it where the waves point? That's the way it that looks. How you know towards the shore? Right. That looks like uh, when it looks like uh, yeah, stripes. Those, yeah, those are parallel of the coast. Yeah. How far out do they go? Uh, it depends. For example, right here, because it's rocky, we don't see so many sand stripes. But some of the plates you can see, some of the sand stripes, when you can see, uh, and it's also parallel into the coast. <laughs> Okay. Also, it's very important yeah, it where you go diving. Oh, it's important to check it out where you're going to jump to look at the location from the coast. Go ahead and where you are, jump and locate it. Okay. Here is the coast. Here is like a, a, a mountain or there is a hotel or electrical post or lighthouse. A way for you to point. Yeah. And also, and also, it's good to know to check where the current goes. You can look at the on the bottom, and you see the fishes fish always swim against the current. That's a good point. So if you look at the fish this way, that means the current goes that direction. Oh, and if the other way, the direct the swim is shows the other direction. Also, another way to tell this by the other direction. They go against yeah. the current. Or against the current. What was the last thing you said after that other direction? Uh, it, it depends on the head of the fish. He's yeah. swimming. Bro, right. that's the current. This way. Comes a little louder. Swim. This a way. A little loud, please. Yeah. A little loud. A little this way. And this way. All right. Okay. And I also need to know how the current goes. So when you enter the water. You can see it float on the surface and mark two points in the shore. I know that. And you see how she's moving. Ah, goes south, goes east. No matter where you are, you need to locate it exactly where you are. Surface it about wherever you are. So when we jump in the water, we're going to look at the thing. And we're going to keep on it or visit the pool. And we'll see if the current is moving one direction or the other direction. Okay. That way we know where to go. Yeah, Always very important for us to swim against the current first. Yeah. So when you come back, you come back drifting with the current. Oh really? Yeah, we don't want to go swim with the current and then we don't know where to come back and we come back to the swim. So always you need to swim against the current. So for example, when you go in the Florida Keys, you go into the, the, the boat. They drop the anchor or they have a, a special buoys. I recommend not to drop the anchor because you damage the color. So better get some marks, some buoys, and the ball they should get a special place for the ball. And then check where the current goes and swim against the current. Also on this uh, on this uh, course, I am going to teach you how to use on the water compass navigation, how to go, how to come back into the original place. So that way you know exactly where you always located. And you can go anywhere if you want. This is the basics that airplanes uh, use, uh, boats. Right now, well, they use a satellite and GPS and all the stuff. But mostly, we're going to do the compass. You want to see how it works? Yeah, yeah, show me. OK. I out of my wrist. All right. there's a, what's the line called right here? Okay, uh, the line cover over here, it's the point of navigation, but as you can see right here, there is some of the, on the wrist, but this one, you're going to keep attached to it, you know, you can click in a place, you know, for example, and you can be able to navigate it and keep it like that. As you can see right here, it's important to have the compass always flat, this position, flat, why? Uh, the liquid inside there, there is liquid inside. Then, it's liquid inside the thing, and you can take a look over here. Where is the compass navigation? And also the direction where you're gonna be going. All right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I was uh, wondering. So about. basically, where it is? How long? This is a lever. Wait, is it called a lever? Yeah, 
called? Lever line or something like lever line? Uh, uh, this is uh, called, for example, the, I call it the navigation line. Okay. So basically where they go. And uh, basically the compass it's like a piece of needle in the middle and they got liquid like an oil and this sits on the top. And they have a magnet, so whenever always looking for the magnet, where should where is the, the magnet located? We have the true north, exactly where exactly where is on, on the North Pole, and also you got the magnet. Uh, uh, nor, uh, nor North magnetic, magnetic North. Magnetic North. They're not the same place. They are not the same place. They are nearby, but not exactly the same place. Okay. Okay. So the long, many, many years ago, the Chinese, those are the first who, who invented the compass. Oh, really? The Chinese they invented the compass, and now it's an important uh, piece of navigation to go. This is uh, on the water compass navigation is going to help us to, for us to check exactly where we're going to be located. Nice. Now, what you have here is the strap. On this, let's say you put uh, zero. Now, right here, as you can look at it. Whenever I place it here. Right here, it's zero. Zero degrees. The needle is north. The needle is always going to go that way, but north. Yeah. Okay, this guy. I know it's not the field. So let's say we get in the water. Let's say we get in the water right here. It's facing north and south. How do we get back to where we're going based on this? Okay. Uh, this is a good point. This guy has to be all Let's say we're going to go in that direction, okay? So right now, we're going to mark the diesel, the school diesel, and we mark it into the, where is the zero? The zero, they have the arrow pointing to the zero, and this is the line of the route that we're going to go to. For example, if you're going to go in that direction, Let's say you're going to go straight, and so then you point this uh, uh, arrow into zero, and you follow this line. This line is the route that you're going to go for. Let's so say you want to go that direction. You want to go that direction. So the, 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 the line, the center line, has to be center to four miles like this. It will be exactly so the right position is the line has to be in the direction where you're going. And I'm trying to keep going towards the line. Towards that direction, yeah, towards that line. Now something very important because one degree that you are separate is the distance, it separates from far and far away. Yeah, you're right. Check this pretty often. You have to, as you navigate it, you have to keep track on the right thing. Like every five seconds. Now you have to follow it all the way. Just kind of keep it in front of you. You have to be in front of you, a number of you. Okay, first feature Right? Okay, now, as you know, here are 360 degrees. Right? As you know, we got zero. We got zero. Half of that is 180, all around is 360. And 360 is in the circle, and this is how it's really separate. You understand? Okay, so let's say if you want to go one direction and turn around, let's say you want to go in this direction, okay, you're going to go this direction, keep going, okay, now let's say, stand up, we get to the spot. We're gonna turn around and we need to switch the vessel from here to zero to 180. Right. So 180 is 180 degrees. Yes, exactly. and now take a turn, take a turn this way. Yes, and, the, and no, 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 the north is to point to the zero. Yes, because and then we are gonna go back to the same spot. Yes, to follow this. Put this back the way you're not there, so I follow it. Yes. 
Yes, because we do a, a 180 turn degrees. Okay. So okay. if I start out, so this, if I this start out like this, it's like this. Yeah. If I start out, if I start out like this, right? That's basically it. No, but the, the angle you you are no, this. Well, it doesn't okay. matter where you get your what, what do you want? I go this direction. Yes. And then I go this direction, this yeah. direction. Then I want to come back. Then you need to twist 180. Now, okay, to 180. Okay, I'm going this way. Then, So it's like this. What I did is okay. this. What I did is this. Yes, come on. I was going this way. Yes. I was going this way. See? Okay, then I was like, okay, turn it around. Yes. And then so I don't go like this. Very good, yes. And then turn around. And then you are the right. Yeah, you follow the right. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Okay. Yeah, but now, but just 180, then that, yeah, that's cool. I get it. Okay, now you're gonna go that direction. Okay, you're gonna step five steps. You're gonna go that direction. All your, all your organs are not exactly no, exactly because they are shot. Yeah, that's what you Okay, so you're gonna go step there. Then um, let's make uh, each step one kilometer. So, so I set this. Yes. The, at the beginning of the trip, I set this. Yes. No, but I go sure, whatever. But I go whatever sure, way the red thing is. Yeah. 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 Make sure that the arrow stays in the zero, and you follow the line. Okay. So if I'm swimming this way and that's like that, then I need to correct myself. Exactly. And, and if you're going, go. if you're going this way a little bit, you need to curse exactly. Okay, it goes, it's like this. Yeah. One then degree, you're missing it. Yeah, exactly. Let's yes. pretend like I swim over but there. Make sure you have to make sure this is flat. Let's pretend like I swim over there and then see if this I can pull it back. Okay, you pretend you swim over there. Other, you make five okay. steps. Excelente, very good, very good. Okay, now let's say this now. This plan, then we're gonna go to that boy. Okay, that boy straight there, the white one, white one, out there. Yes. Okay, so calculate, and we're gonna go to the boy. So locate the boy. Yes, chemo therapy is a poison. Yes, radiation to radiate. Imagine that we're going to swim all the way to the world. Go, let's make a couple steps. Okay, now let's go back. The arrows on the left. Perfect. I'm following this shit. Exactamente. You did a great job. Now let's calculate how the how do the square works. Okay? The square is very simple how to do it. The reason that we're gonna do a square is let's say right now we're gonna go here to the reef straight and then we're gonna turn that direction. 
and then we're going to turn in another direction and come back to the split wheel. Pretty much we're going to follow the lines of the wheels. Alright? So if we go that direction, we're going to point. We usually the doctor says, ah, no, yeah, we'll monitor. Right here. Where are we going? We're going down. We're going down. Okay? You understand? We get to the squad. And we're going to turn. Now I am on the side of the boy is outside. I'm going to say probably, I don't know, maybe the doctor wants to take it out. Okay. I say, go on. Wait a minute. Say the other thing. Wait a minute, okay? Again, I need to take a turn because I'm in the size of a square. Then we're going to take another turn. 70. Take a little turn. Take a turn. Make sure the arrow stays in the vessel. Now we get there. Now we can come back. Another 90. No, no, no. Okay, you have to go another turn more. Yes. More. I need to take another 90. For you to understand, we're going to make a square right here. We're going to do this right here. And we're going to navigate this direction, that direction, and that direction to make a square. Okay. Okay? So right now, I'm going to make a square. I'm going to go in this direction. Okay. And I'm going to step two steps. Okay? Two steps represent uh, 200 meters. Sure. Let's make a turn. Let's make it right now. No, no, no. Four times. We have a shovel. Like a train. Get on there. No, no, no. We need to do. You want to do a square right now, right here? Let's focus right here. Make a square. Alleyway. You want to go this direction? Yeah, I'm going to go this direction. There we go. Here. 
Hey, how are you, friends? We are here um, making the open water, advanced open water for diving. We are in Sunset Beach and go, 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 you can pass. And Sunset Beach right here in Cozumel, Quintana Roo. So let us know if you guys want to make your open water advance, your first diving, your certifications. Uh, we are professionals, we make it with professionals and the best places for learn how to dive. This is a really nice place, uh, Sunset, Sunset uh, Beach Club and Sand Dollar, which is the same I think, but it's a really nice place to, to come and learn how to dive. We are here with the master, Adolfo Sanguino. Showing some classes for uh, before going and starting our advanced open water advance. We can we can have a, a classes before going under the water, and you can feel more comfortable, more safe with the professionals. Right here, my friend Aaron. Hey, how are you, Aaron? He's learning. He's learning how to do the the positions if you are in the sea how to locate their positions and right here is another friend and she's learning but she don't want to go in the cameras her name is Mari Mayra 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 is starting uh, also he's starting his advanced open water first in English then in Spanish El barco 
se ancla, ya que tienes que ir a buscar todo el arrecife, ya tienes tu, tu compas, llegas hasta el arrecife y tienes que regresar también para buscar el arrecife. Sí funciona. Ahora, para hacer el cambio, para hacer el cambio, hay que hacer el cambio para hacer de un cuadrado. El cuadrado es así. Vamos a ir al norte, vamos al norte, vamos a dar una vuelta, 90, vamos a norte, sur, este, vamos a ver esto, miramos, apuntamos otra vez, miramos dos pasos, representan dos pasos, Llegamos al punto, caminamos dos pasos, caminamos, llegamos al punto y caminamos hasta llegar al lugar donde quieres. ¿Sí? Ahora, vas a hacer tú el ejercicio. ¿Sí? ¿Eh? Se te está quedando en el ejercicio. Tanto esto es en la casa, la pista. Entonces tengo que poner el camino. Uno, dos. Ahora vas a dar la vuelta. Exacto, es, hay que ir a buscar el, 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 el cuadro, pero en el, en el, aquí es muy fácil saber porque vamos a estar, como punto de referencia damos los pasos, pero en el agua la forma, hay dos formas de medir, una forma es cortando las patadas que vamos haciendo durante el buceo, cuando vamos dando la patada y vamos bajando la pierna derecha al patalear, vamos cortando las patadas, una, dos, 3, 4, 5. Entonces, en este caso, el ejercicio que vamos a hacer abajo del agua es, vamos a poner un punto de referencia en la profundidad y vamos a marcar primero una vuelta de 180 grados. Vamos a ir y vamos a regresar. Después que hagamos ese ejercicio, vamos a marcar el cuadrado abajo del agua. Vamos a patalear 5 veces. 1, 2, bueno, vamos a hacer 10 diez, diez patadas. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Paramos. Cuando nos paramos, yo recomiendo que estén en flotabilidad neutral, ¿sí? para no proteger los arrecifes y no tocarlos, y darle una vuelta. Y eso tenemos que, que mantener nuestra flotabilidad neutral, que eso lo aprendemos en el curso de, de Open Water, de Aguas Abiertas del principio. ¿sí? y ya nosotros damos la vuelta de visel para hacer el cuadrado. Ya damos 5, 10 patadas hacia, hacia la dirección, hacemos el cambio de la vuelta de, de, de 90 grados, cambiamos, pataleamos igual otros 10 eh, diez, diez patadas, giramos el visel, hacemos la vuelta, seguimos pataleando, 10 patadas, llegamos, damos la vuelta y hasta que lleguemos ya al punto donde iniciamos. ¿Sí? Así se hace el cuadrado. ¿El cuadrado cuántos lados tiene? 4. ¿Y cuántas veces se divide? 360 entre 4 son a 90 grados. Cada vuelta vamos a hacer de 90 grados para tener esta, esta orientación debajo del agua. 
podría ser que el compás es muy importante porque a veces la visibilidad es corta, a veces la, estamos buceando en algún lago o está turbio o lo que sea, la visibilidad es uno o dos metros, tú tienes que saber exactamente bien hacia dónde vas, cómo ir y cómo regresar, para que estés bien orientado. Ahora, vamos a hacer la orientación del de triángulo. Vamos a hablar del triángulo. Vamos a hablar, we're talking about the triangle. Triangulo. Where are you going to learn? How you doing? You understand it? Very good. Excellent. The triangle is very simple. Right now we got 360. Now we're gonna divide 360 divided by 3 is 120. So the turns is going to be 120. The basic is going to be here. Here, 120, 240, and 360. So we're going to take three turns only. Well, two turns, but it's nice. Okay, three. Okay, so we're going to go on a triangle towards this. We're going to go towards this. Let's make sure we come back. We'll come back to you. All right. Luisa, Luisa. Ya está aquí agarrando bien la, el movimiento, haciendo los cálculos necesarios para saber exactamente cómo, cómo se hacen bien los movimientos. Congratulations, eh? Hey, I didn't know I was getting up where you were. You did a great, man. Triangle. Very good. 120, 120, 120. Okay, triangle 120. Got you. 120. 90, 90, 120. Or 180 if you go straight. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, señorita, vamos a hacer un triangle. Triangle. So the point is, learn how to use. ¿Cómo se dice brujo en inglés? Compass. How to use the underwater compass before go diving, because right now we are making, uh, we are starting uh, an advanced open water. So if you want to start from zero, let us know. We can uh, teach you how to have your first diving, your first dive right here in this beach. We don't go no more than 30 feet. Sorry, no more than 25 feet. Your first dive. So it's a, a really safe place to dive. It's a nice beach. It's a nice club. They have everything here. You can rent your equipment, your tanks, your masks, your fins. And right here you can, uh, you just need to bring your, your master diver with you, which is right here, my friend. So let us know if you wanna, if you wanna learn how to dive, it's, the place is here, Cozumel. The second best place in the world for diving. The second best place in the world for diving, the first best place in the world under a thousand dollars. 
some shit like that. Because, <laughs> I mean, why, why is he like, going to go to the second best when he gets the first best? The first is earlier. Yeah, no, I know. That's yeah, what I'm saying. You want to pay 40,000 pesos or some shit. So you just do it like that. Yeah, yeah, like, that's yeah. a good one, man. That's that shit. Yeah. Yeah. I like, you know, Sandra, whatever. Roja, yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's good. Yeah, it's you know, great. You're going to catch your airplane. This thing is going to cost $400. That's 800 Just for $1,000? Yeah, it's like $400 for a round trip. Yeah, I'm making about everything. You know, you guys like to go to the store, $500. Yeah. For a round $500 trip. You guys are going to go to the store. Plus your food, plus your renting, your equipment. And yeah, you know, you're rich for $125. And how much is it? Second in the world, first under a thousand dollars. You got it, bro. What else? What else? I mean. Whether it's the best or not is really, that's a, that's a big one. The weather. A lot of people say it's the second largest, it's the second largest or whatever coral reef or something, right? Yes. But that doesn't mean it's the second best. You know, as far as we're concerned, it's the, number, it's the best. Yes. But so, uh, you know, it's the second, you know, a lot of people think it's the best one. Second largest to coral reef in the world, but the best as far as anyone over here is concerned. That's a good way of phrasing it. Second largest to coral reef in the world, but the very best place to go is snorkeling or scuba diving in the world as far as we're concerned. Por eso, para cuando hagas la navegación, no le vas a hacer como un reloj para ver a dónde vas, sino que más que nada tienes que ver que esté plano. Para que tú puedas dirigir las direcciones a donde vas a ir. ¿Me explico? ¿Sí? Perfecto. Muy bien, ahora lo que vamos a hacer. Now, well, now since you already know uh, about how to do uh, 180 degrees, now you know how to do uh, 90 degrees turn and triangle with 120 degrees. Now we're going to practice this in the world. So when we're going to practice, we're going to kick, kick cycles. Every time you kick with your right hand, with your right foot, it's one, two, three, four. We're going to keep adding the kick cycles that you do. Stop, make sure it's, you don't damage any coral, not to buoyancy. Or if you you don't have it, not to no buoyancy, make sure it's clear area with no, no rain, it's only sand. You get in your knees. Get base, get support, and then after that you do the, the conver conversion. How many kicks are we doing? Cycles? You mean? Ten, ten kick, three kicks. Ten cycles and then point ourselves towards that door. No, uh, we will decide whatever under the wall, random. Random, not the buoy. We're gonna go okay here, but that direction, that direction, that, that's very simple. Yeah, I'm ready to get in the Okay, that's very simple. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you for listening for your time. For yeah. Understand? Now we're going to get ready right to a couple of the gear. Well, some days. Do you remember how to set the gear? Some days have the Ahora, espérame. Voy a grabar para el tutorial de YouTube cómo lo arme, lo va a hacer más desde el principio el, el equipo. Simón. Ok, buddies, thank you very much. ¿Lo quieres armar aquí? ¿La silla? O allá. Aquí. Now. ¿O quieres traerte la banquita ahí? No te regaña. No, no te regaña. No hay pedo si lo armas ahí. Allá. Es que aquí está chingón porque lo detiene este. Sí, está bien. Sí, güey. Déjame lo bajo, espérame. 
¿Lo vas a armar ahí o en la silla? ¿En el suelo? Sí, aquí en el suelo. Ok, déjamelo bajo. Now we are going to show you how to put your equipment. Espérate, espérate. Ahora no. Ahí está grabando ese, güey, pero enfócate en esta porque. Porque esta va para YouTube, pero es de ser. We are going to show you en dos minutos, tres minutos, no más de tres minutos, como armar. Yo, yo te digo, pero. Este es para YouTube, algo claro, simple, sencillo, como salga, güey. Tienes tres, cuatro minutos, ¿eh? Okay, here's the tank. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the harness with the BCD. You're gonna slide the strap. You have to make sure that the valve is this high. Okay, and the hole from the air is facing the jacket. Once you get this done, you're gonna make sure it's tight. You want to get it tight as you can. Make a pressure here. And you got your pressure. This is here. And watch your fingers. Close it. There we go. Put the velcro on. And here is some safety band for in case the, the, the tank. After you have done that before, you grab the BCD and make sure it's tight. Yeah, you don't want to be done with a single tank pass by. Once it's secure, we're going to get the regulator. Regulator, you're going to get the mouthpieces, make sure that the mouthpieces doesn't touch the sand. Alright, so it's, I recommend putting it on the side packet on the BCD. On the side packet. We're going to remove the dust cap right here. Remove the dust cap, make sure the orange is in good condition, it's dry, it's good, then we're going to put it here, we're going to tie it with three fingers tight, three fingers tight, then you get the low pressure hose, connected to the BCD, you see you have a little bit sand, blow it a little bit, grab it hard and stick it in, make sure it's clear, okay? Then, here we got the pressure gauge, shows zero, and this is the depth, the depth gauge and pressure gauge. Now, we are never going to open the tank and look at the gauge. We're going to put this, the gauge inside, get the face out of this area, because there is some hose with high pressure hose. Open first slowly. See how the air goes in? And now, open all the way. Once you open all the way, Check it, have a turn, check it out, how much uh, pressure you have on the air. Now keep this in the side pocket. Okay, and something very important. We need to check the condition of the air, if it's not contaminated. Press a little bit the pressure button and smell. Make sure it's not in, smell something funny. Put this on the side pocket, and you're going to prepare a octopus or alternative resource in a way has to create a imagined triangle in front of the chest and this has to be quick release in case an emergency anybody can come and grab it and alternative resource and here you make sure you keep this away from the sand all right this is all i'll say this is a scuba unit is done thank you guys Ahora el cinto, padre. Otro para YouTube, el cinto. Vente acá. El cinto, el tus plomos pues quítalos todos padre quítalos como un chingón vas a decir ya que tienes calculado 
el peso exacto de tus plomos se une en 10% y la mamada, vamos a poner el cinturón. Acuérdate que es para YouTube, güey, así como bonito. Y luego ya lo empiezas a poner, güey. Pero sin la Así se pone el cinturón. Lo que tengas que decir, ya sabes, que no pases, o como ahorita, güey. Si este lo armaste en tres, este en dos, güey. Menos lo armas. Acuérdate que estos son tutoriales, eh, gordo. Sí, 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 oye, pero ya que Son me tutoriales para YouTube, güey, estos. Oye, pero yo creo que ya está mal que me vea así. Baja esa madre que me vea. ¿La quieres de frente? Pues yo de frente, tantito acá y lo que okay. güey. Es que aquí se ve chingón por el mar, güey. Se ve hasta allá atrás el mar, güey. Pero déjame la pongo de frente como dices. Espérame. Porque se ve así está bien, aquí está bien. Así me veo. Así me ven. Se ve la, la silla y eso, y tú también. Pero espérame, espérame, déjame la subo un poquito. Ay, Memo. Se va a quedar esa mano. Ay, Memo. Ok, aquí es el weight bell. Espérate, espérate, espérate. Déjame la limpio. Para YouTube, ¿lo hiciste ahorita en el tanque en inglés o en español? En inglés, en inglés, papi, eh. Ahí va. Una, dos, tres. Ok, right now we're gonna check the how you set up the weights. Right now we calculate. Uh, Aaron, how much do you weigh? Then I keep some space because that's where the tank's gonna sit on. And we need to keep the weights balanced in their body. To put everything balanced. So I usually for safety I make a, a knot on the side. So for safety, when you hover by the side, that thing doesn't slide and hit you on your toe or somebody else's toe. Alright? That way you check it out. And the way to put it, you're gonna grab it. Make sure the buckle goes on the bottom. Get your right hand and touch. You're gonna put it right here. And bend over. See, magic for pulling down. Bend over. Make sure it's tight. And tie the fingers and calculate. Okay. It's not to be. Make sure it's balanced. Now, to remove the weight belt, it's very simple. You grab like this. Grab three fingers. One, two, three. Keep these two. And then you're gonna remove it like this and hand it to the ball capital when you finish. Alright, you can put it back on. Put it on. Like this. All set. Alright? Entendido. There you go. Thank you. Huevo. Huevo. Tú vas a hacer el video. Tú vas a hacer los videos porque nomás van a bajar de dos en dos, ¿verdad? Sí, yo bajo con él, con él, se lo viene, se lo pone en el Ok, padre, te voy a decir cómo grabes, güey. Ya grabaste, pero eso está bien, que llegas a tu no, estaba al revés de la configuración, estaba al revés. La tuve que abrir porque estaba backwards. La cámara, la, la, la prendía, se ve todo al revés. Estaba la configuración, después del segundo buceo salí, la configuré y hace que todos los videos. No creas que la cagué todo el tiempo, no, pero ahí te va. A lo que me refiero. 
Mira, esta no uses, güey. Laps. Laps tampoco, güey. Usa las de cámara lenta, güey. Es que se me va a tratar de un Cámara lenta para que se vea bien bonito y ahí yo les puedo acelerar las cámaras lentas. ¿Te explico? Vamos a decirlo, sí. Ah, no. Cualquiera que uses, pero acuérdate, ¿te grabas el video? Ayer usaste esta, güey. Y no, güey, esta no sirve. Mira, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Siempre usa las slowly, güey. Los videos que quieres, las slowly, güey. Ya yo los quiero. Simón, Sí, sí, sí. Pero tú vas a bucear ahorita conmigo. Sí, güey, pero por esto tú te vas a grabar con él. Vamos a bucear los tres. Los tres o dos. Yo, tú vas a tomar video. Por ese. Esta es para mí. Esta es para ti. Esta es para ti. Esta es para ti. Esta And now we are going to diving to start this open water, advanced open water in this beautiful place. So I invite you, my friends, if you want to come here and have some fun and great day. If you want to come and dive in, learn how to dive with the best places at the professional way. Book us, make your reservation with us. Thank you very much.